How should we be discussing surveillance now, um, almost two years after Snowden? Well, I think one of the really interesting things from the, from the conference was that people were really against the idea of mass electronic surveillance. This is what the poll seemed to show. But on the other hand, they wanted full safety as well. People very much wanted their cake and to eat it as well, uh, which I think showed the kind of inherent uh, difficulty of forming policy in this area. You know, people want everything. Um, but I think what did come across was that people wanted firmer oversight of whatever there was. People were more trustworthy of human intelligence than these kind of big, mind-sweeping electronic programs that they feel they don't really understand. So I think the kind of conclusion was that it was a question of, a question of oversight and understanding for people. I think that's what they wanted. Is this an area where we can even begin to apply public opinion? Well, I think that's an interesting question. I mean, the intelligence community uh, make it quite difficult for the public to have an informed choice um, because they can't release a lot of the information that they have. So it's very hard to know whether the intelligence community is doing a fantastic job. They're invading our privacy, but they're doing a fantastic job um, you know, stopping us from being killed by terrorists every other week. Or whether um, the, the problems of having our privacy invaded is actually more important than what they're, than, than what they're doing.